Hi, Dr. Windish from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Sorry it's been so long. I'm coming to you today from somewhere in the deep south. I can't really say where, but I uh, wanted to reach out to everybody during this wonderful time of COVID-19. So today, I mean, we hear a ton about this. People are talking about this. This is the, the news of the day, the news of the year, the news of the century. Today, as I was driving into work this morning, um, there was some stuff on the radio and people were asking, well, if I test negative for COVID-19, does that mean I'm in the clear? So I thought this really merits my reaching out and explaining some stuff about viral testing because um, I think this is important to understand. So the current test that we're using in this country as of today, which is March 25th, 2020, is polymerase chain reaction. So we are looking for the nucleic acids that make up the genes that are in COVID-19. COVID-19 does not have DNA, it has RNA. Our cells have both RNA and DNA in it, but our genetic code is maintained within our DNA and it, it never changes. In the case of COVID-19, it doesn't actually have DNA, it only has RNA. Uh, largely that doesn't change either. Either way, PCR can amplify that. It, it then looks for specific markers to tell us you have COVID-19. So if you test negative, does that mean you're in the clear? Well, the answer that was given on the radio was rather roundabout, but let me give it to you and explain it in a way that maybe makes some sense. If you take a pregnancy test today and then have unprotected sex tomorrow, are you in the clear? The pregnancy test is sensitive to uh, a certain degree of pregnancy, so going back a couple of weeks, it tells you that a couple of weeks ago you did not get pregnant. But if you had sex again tomorrow, and then the next day, and the next day, and the next day, you could take a test each day, but it only tells you where you were roughly three weeks ago, two weeks ago. In the case of the COVID test, it tells you that in your nose today, there was no recoverable virus. But every time you go out in public and are exposed to someone with COVID-19, that test doesn't predict your future. If it did, we'd just test everybody once and be done with it. But if you have exposures every single day for the next 100 days, then you got to be tested every single day for the next 114 days to know if you're in the clear, because each day, we're looking for symptoms from the exposure from, you know, a couple days ago. It does, however, mean that most likely at this moment, you don't have COVID-19. The test's pretty doggone sensitive. So if you're negative, you probably are negative today. But if you go to the grocery store, what's tomorrow going to bring? Mm, new, new exposures, new test. That's why we don't test people that aren't having symptoms and don't have exposures. Because if you're not having symptoms and you haven't had an exposure and you're negative, wonderful, what about tomorrow after an exposure? How many times are you going to test somebody? Especially when we only have limited tests. So that's kind of the state of that. I wanted to get that out there. Hope that clears up some stuff. Sorry, it's not actually really reassuring news. It would be nice if I could just run a test on you today and say, nope, you're good. Don't worry about it. Go to work, no sweat ever, and you're free from COVID. Now, there may come a point in time where we can do antibody testing. When we can do antibody testing, if you have the antibody known as IgG or immune globulin type G, specifically against COVID-19, once we have this testing commercially available, then yes, I can tell you, at some point you had it, your immune system responded to it, you are good to go. And unless your immune system changes and you become immune suppressed, uh, you don't need to worry about it. That is not the state of the art as of March 25th, 2020. That's not the test that's being done in all the drive through centers. That's not the test that's being done in the hospitals. That's not the test you're hearing about on the radio. So don't confuse the two. We're doing PCR. It's very sensitive, but it only tells you what you have in your nose right now. With pretty good sensitivity and specificity, but a certain amount of false positive and negatives. So hope that clears some stuff up. This is Dr. Kevin Windish from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine, somewhere in the deep south. Stay safe, everybody.